what's up everybody true boxing here thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth so today uh, doing the Lee Wood versus Michael Conlin is on video this fight takes place Saturday March 12th on the zone and it will be from Nottingham England as you're as it, you're gonna see the WBA regular featherweight champion Lee Wood of the United Kingdom battling Michael Conlin the undefeated contender from Ireland this is a big fight right here in a 126 pound division. And in the UK, this is a monster fight. So hey, what's up to all my friends in the UK? Hey, smash that like button, guys. Leave me a comment, subscribe. I appreciate all that stuff. You guys are the best out there. Um, but, you know, this is an interesting showdown here at Featherweight. And the winner is not just fighting for a title. They're putting themselves in position for the, for the Supreme WBA title, like to be the one WBA champion. And it's likely going to be against Leo Santa Cruz, who's a big name. He's been a big name in boxing for the last six, seven years now. He's been a no, a not a notable name, a guy that people all tune in to watch. You know, it's a guy that just a year and a half ago took on Javante Davis in the main event of a Showtime pay per view, in a very good fight. You know, he got knocked out in what I had as the knockout of the year, but. Santa Cruz is very much in that fight and he was fighting a naturally bigger man. He's a four division world champion. So Santa Cruz is fighting this uh, this Saturday, February 5th in a, 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 you know, come come back and shake off some rust type fight. And, you know, he is lined up to fight the winner of Wood and Conlon who are both hungry, hungry UK fighters right here. You know, we, you know, we start with Lee Wood. Lee Wood's coming in off the career best victory uh, his career best win, stopping Can Shu of China in the 12th round of that bout last year, dominating him and pulling off the upset, becoming a new world champ. He's lost a couple fights in his career. He's lost to Jaza Dickens, a former world title challenger, you know, and he's also lost early on in his career to Gavin McDonald, who's also another world title challenger. So, you know, this guy though, he's, 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 we don't know how good Lee Wood really is yet. We really don't, you know, um, Ken Shu hadn't fought in, in nearly two years by the time he fought Lee Wood. Lee Wood was fighting in his backyard. So that could have had something to do with it. Maybe Ken Shu wasn't as good as we thought he, he was. You know, all I know is Jaza Dickens, for me, is not really a top 10 guy. And Lee Wood lost by a majority decision. He didn't lose by much. So maybe Lee Wood is better than we thought. We're going to see against Michael Conlon, the challenger. Because Michael Conlon took his step up in class last year. That dude had been brought along by Bob Aaron very delicately, you know. He was 14-0 and heading into 2021. And early in the year, in April, he would take on Ionu Paluta, who is a very legitimate contender, who had pulled off a couple upsets in 2020 and was, was trying to gear up for a world title shot. And Michael Conlon moved down to 122 just to stay relevant to get bigger fights. And he took on the awkward style of Baluda, and it ended up being a very good fight. Conlin edged him out by a 12-round majority decision and put himself in line for a title at 122. But after that, you know, he decided he wanted to move back to 126, and he took on TJ Dahany, former champion at 122. And, you know, he went in there, and he pretty much outworked, dominated the action, and, and uh, defeated TJ Dahany with not much trouble, to be honest. Uh, with a clean and unanimous 12 round decision. So now he's heading into this fight ready to go, raring to go. Both guys are. This is a, you know, both guys are hungry and we're going to see who the better man is on March 12th on the zone. But I, I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be an action fight, you know, and we're going to see if Lee Wood's relentlessness that he showed against Can Shu, if he can follow that up against Michael Conlon. We're going to see if Michael Conlon continues to prove that he's a legitimate featherweight um, and moving forward. The winner's going to have a very good chance and a big fight waiting for him against Leo Santa Cruz later on in the year. So, again, big fight, WBA regular featherweight title at 126 pounds. Lee Wood of, the United, of, of England taking on Michael Conlon of Ireland. Should be fun. Check it out Saturday, March 12th on the zone. All right, guys, that's the Wood versus Conlin is on video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, smash that like button, subscribe. I appreciate any of your support. All right, True Boxing, you've been here with the truth.